First Timothy, the second chapter, uh, we are enjoined to, to pray for kings, for those in authority over us, for our leaders, and try to take that seriously in, in praying for leaders of our country and certainly uh, countries around the world. And right now, if you're aware of the news around the world, I think we are seeing uh, leaders acting all over the world in ways that are causing great pain for people. Uh, certainly in the Middle East, uh, Gaza and Israel are seem locked in a, in a, in a protracted battle. Uh, Syria locked in a civil war. Iraq uh, locked in a battle between Sunnis and Shiites. Uh, we see it still in Afghanistan and certainly in the Ukraine with the aggression uh, coming out of uh, the leadership in Russia. I want to encourage you to pray for these leaders for softening hearts among them that they would act in ways that uh, that would not cause pain. Sometimes we get caught up in conflicts and and conflicts take on a life of themselves and they're very difficult to back out of. I see that in, in just marriage relationships where two people get caught up in a conflict and it's hard to get them to soften their hearts and, and to back away from that conflict and to see the possibilities for, uh, for reconciliation and for peace in their relationship. The same is true for countries and leaders, and so would you join me in praying for uh, the peace of Jerusalem, for peace in Syria and Afghanistan, Iraq, in the Ukraine. I look forward to joining you with you in worship this Sunday as we give honor and glory to our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless.